Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kate, and in this video, we are going to be making a wavy design using a retro font. These are super popular right now, and I'm really, really excited to show you. We are going to be using Silhouette Studio today, so let's get started. So in order to do everything in this video, you will need Silhouette Studio Business Edition. I purchased my upgrade from 143 Vinyl, but be careful because there are two different versions of the upgrades. The blue cards are the ones that are a previously purchased version to the next version, and the white card is the one that will take you from Basic Edition straight to Business Edition. One of my favorite fonts to do this design with is Super Vibes. You can download it right on Creative Fabrica. And as you type it into the search bar, it will pop right up for you. Click on that green download button and install it to your computer. Also at the time of recording this video, Creative Fabrica has the yearly all access for only $4.99 a month. So I really prefer having a blank canvas for my designing. If you do not have this already, you can open up the page setup, select none for your cutting mat, and I usually keep the media size at 12 by 12 until the very end. You can even add the grids if you want to. You can make some adjustments, make it however you like. I personally don't like using the grids, so I just turn mine off. Now we can add our text. I am going to type in hello there, beautiful. I think this is going to make a really cute design. And I am also going to fill it in and change the outlines both to black. This just helps me visualize everything a little bit better and I just find it easier to do it this way. I am also going to center the design and then we are going to find that Super Vibes font to change everything to. I also want my lines to be a little bit closer together. So in the text style, we are going to go to the bottom and click the line spacing and get it exactly where we want it. Then we are going to right click and weld and then grab everything from the bottom line, group that together, and then same thing at the top, group everything together there as well. Now we are going to make the width of both of these lines exactly the same. Just for this, we are going to put that at a seven for each. Now we can group everything together and get ready for the warping. As you open the warp panel, you will see that there are already some pre-made warping styles. And this one looks like it would be what we want, but there is just so much happening here and it's very overwhelming. So we're going to come up here, release that warp, and we are going to do this manually. Go ahead and click on that warp selected shapes and here you can change the handles, columns and rows if you want to, uh, you know, you can mess with it however you want your design to look. But for this one, we are going to keep the handles at three and the columns and rows at one. I find it a lot easier to do this step by zooming in as far as you need to. And you will see these little blue dots on the inside of these rows and columns where they meet. So we are going to grab this one. We are going to pull it upwards to get the first like wave look. And then we are going to grab the bottom one and pull that up about to where that first blue line meets. And then we are going to do the opposite of that over here on the other side. So that way we get a really nice wave.
You will also notice that there is some gaping here, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now we can zoom out and get a really good look at our design. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can right click and convert to path. Now we are going to ungroup several times until each character is individual where you see each box around each individual letter. Now we can go in and grab each individual letter and start stretching that upwards to fill in those gaps that we want to, you know, make sure everything looks very seamless. And as we stretch this U out, we see that it's very close to the F. So I'm going to use my arrow key and move it over just a little bit. Now we want to add some really fun colors. I really like using the coolers website you can generate some really fun color palettes and you can lock some and generate the others. It's really fun and I really recommend you guys check it out. Now I have three colors that I want to use for this design. So we are going to grab every third letter and group all of those together. And then we are going to go in and color with the color palette that I have in mind. At the end, I do like to group everything together and I like to scale it to where everything has a width of 12. And then we are actually going to change the canvas. So that way, when you have this to print for something like DTF or sublimation, the size will not be an issue because there will not be any extra space. So we are going to reopen that page setup and change the media size to custom. So whenever you click on your design, you will see the exact dimensions and you can just enter those in as the width and height. And you can just click on the center page icon and there it is. It is absolutely fitting perfect. And don't worry that the arrow is pointing to the left. That is not going to affect the saving at all. So just click on file, save as. I always save to my hard drive. We are going to put in the title. And in the format, you can save it as an SVG, but I'm going to have this printed. So I need this as a PNG and I am going to change the dots per inch to 300. This is a really good quality and it's automatically going to change the width and height and put on that transparent background and save. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this has helped you create your very own finished designs, or you can even cut it out to make a complete project. If you have any questions, please leave those down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.